Hi friends, it's Star Thrifter and wanted to do a quick video on what sold last week. This will be from October 14th through the 21st and this will be for my sales that was on eBay and also on Poshmark. We'll get right on to it. Um, for eBay, the sales were up just a little bit from last week. The gross amount of sales was $1,538.98. And then you have to subtract the tax and then the, all the fees, and you know, that would have the selling fees and the shipping costs. And that leaves a net of $792.46. The number of total sales was 49. The average sale price was $31.41. However, that average sale price has, I'm pretty sure that that has the shipping too. The cost of goods was $166.11. Um, Poshmark, mm, my sales are really down this week. I will say, though, I did not um, follow through on doing the listing, um, you know, quota that I was doing, and that was between five and seven a day, um, you know, most days, and I didn't do that this week. I did list, though, but the sales were just, like, really crappy, and then I, I think that um, I use Flip, um, you know, for the sharing, and I think that was kind of messing up or was, you know my computer sometimes it like messes up and then if I don't go and check that and up you know like refresh the past page and and sometimes the flip page then it stops sharing but anyhow I think that was part of it that means that how much you list today does matter and and sharing matters sharing your own closet now I used to share a lot as far as um, other people's closets and I stopped doing that and I know some of the other sellers did too. However, I do still try to go, I don't do it every day and I should, go and um, follow some of the new closets and uh, and to some of the new people that have joined Posh. And on the new closets, if anybody has anything that they've sold, then I share that. And then I will go and do one of the ambassadors and share maybe 10 or, or sometimes I'll go through um, you know, my news feed and where, you know, somebody has started following me or shared, you know, I'll, I'll follow and share and something like that to try, try to do like maybe 10 or 20. Anyhow, $95. That was it for gross. And then you should check the fees. I didn't have any shipping discounts and that left a net of $76. That was only for three sales. This Average sale price was thirty one sixty seven. Now on Poshmark, I don't think that the sales price, or I mean the shipping's included in that, and I'll have to double check that. Cost of goods was ten dollars and seventy seventeen cents. Add the total gross eBay and the total gross Poshmark for the week. That leaves or adds up to one thousand six hundred thirty three dollars and ninety eight cents. Then you should track the fees and the, um, the tax and stuff. And that leaves a net of $868.46. And then Poshmark, I have their sales tax collected separately, and that was $397. But anyways, I thought maybe what I would do is kind of go over some of the things that sold and kind of talk about it and some of the brands. Because especially if you're new to reselling, Brands play, it plays a huge part and they change, they can change. I mean, something that was popular five years ago might not be popular now, or even, you know, or when it changes, it could have been just a year ago. And there's always new brands coming up and size and style and material, what it's made of can matter too. But I just thought I would go over a few here. On Poshmark, there was only three. This will be easy. <laughs> Anyways, it was a J. Jill thermal top, and it was only a size medium pullover. I had had that, I think, for over a year. That's a long time. I have stopped picking up J. Jill in the smaller sizes, and this is something really spectacular, really great, um, you know, fabric. Um, I try to stick to the larger, like large, extra large at least, and then some of them I don't always pick up. But plus size, J. Jill sells really great. That sold for $15. An Ann Taylor wrap dress. I was getting to where I hardly picked up any Ann Taylor, especially no Ann Taylor lot, because I tell you what, that's a really hard one to move, even brand new with tags. And I think it's just that the market's really flooded. They're not, well, some pieces cost a little bit new, but maybe some of them don't, or they get sold maybe at the outlets and things like that. But Ann Taylor, 
I've been picking up a few pieces lately, only if it had some great, you know, things about it. This is a wrap dress. And for some reason, wrap dresses sell. And um, it was beautiful. Gray, a light gray. I have a darker gray or a black one listed right now. I think it's a darker gray. And that's been listed for a while. This one hasn't been listed that long. Of course, too, that would mean that it's a newer listing and probably gets more visibility on both sites. Um, it sold for $27. It was very nice. It was a wool blend, though. This was a wool blend, and that can make a difference. The third piece was a Club Monaco, and I have a hard time moving that brand. However, this was a really nice dress, and it was kind of like a high neck. It was called the Pin Tuck Rib Dress, and it was long-sleeved. And it kind of had a drop waist, more like a shift. It had a mock neck. And this was a size 10. That means that that's a, a little bit more of a plus two because meaning that it wasn't like a super tiny size. And it sold for $30. And um, I list everything on eBay. And I only list certain things over on Poshmark that I think will sell over there. Okay. On to eBay. There's a whole bunch. I just, I only printed the first page. There was a second page, but you know, there's like a whole bunch. And I just, you know, printed a little bit out here to where we could go over a few things. Um, how in the world? They must have bought more than one piece. This is a misprint because it did not sell sell for that much money. Total selling cost. I got. I don't like how eBay does this when you go and you print on your you go to your sales and you can custom do it and it prints these out or even when it shows it on the screen because. Does the total sales have the sales or have the shipping in it? And I gotta um get your you know figure that out. I think it does. Anyhow, I do not know now. There was two of them. I sold this brand called Winter Silks, and I think it was on one of my thrift haul videos. And I sold two of them within like a day or two apart, and they weren't listed very long. They were um a turtleneck, and they were um they were made out of silk. And they sold. And um, this was a size small, the other or medium. I think the other one was too. It sold between twenty and thirty dollars. I'm here is saying total sales fifty dollars. There's no way because the shipping was only like six ninety eight. And I got to figure out what's going on there. Or of course, maybe they put the the tax amount in there too. But anyhow, between maybe twenty and thirty, and they sold right away. Then I had a lot of average sales too, and I thought maybe I would just talk about a few of them here. Um, Let's see here. A Talbot's Pure Silk shirt. And Talbot's, I think it's a hard brand to move. And a lot of people talk about picking it up. However, plus size, yes, a little bit more. But even the plus size doesn't sell for a ton. I have brand new with tags Talbot stuff. Even sweaters, and they sit. Even trying to sell them for $29. I don't know. Some people can sell some brands more than others. But this sold, <laughs> it, this was a, um, a size 20 though. That's a more, you know, goes to your plus size and it sold for around 20 or $25. Then I had a new without tags Talbot's blazer and some blazers can sell if they're wool. And this was very nice, but this was a plus size and it was a 20. Oh no, it was a, a 14 W. With the W means usually it's still a plus size, even though it's at 14. If it was a plain 14, that would still probably fall under the regular sizing. And um, But anyways, that sold for around 40, I think it was. And um, I had a pair of Lane Fisher black pull-on pants. And they were just like a stretch material. And they sold between 20 and, I think, well, between 20 and 25. And um, I had a Talbot's navy blue blazer but it was a 10 petite but this had um the gold buttons and the blazers that have gold buttons sometimes sell quicker and for more money and that applies to men's too and it's going to depend on the brand i wouldn't pick up just any brand because it was blue and had gold buttons but even you know if it's a nicer brand and it has those two features it can sell quicker and um and that that sold um I think around $30, somewhere right around there. And that was a wool blend too. Here I just mentioned all, I don't do that great with Talbots and I just mentioned three of them. But these were kind of exceptions because I had a lot of other Talbots listed. Um, believe it or not, I had a Chico's Three Travelers Slinky Tank sell. It was an extra large and um, that sold for right around 20 
I have found that the slinky line is where that material is really like kind of like more of a heavyweight and a slinky. That seems to sell. I used to pick up Talbots lately. I mean, <laughs> I mean, she goes, but lately I've been not picking up hardly any of it, but I, but except for maybe the slinky or, and it's usually, I only like to pick up the Chico's like three. That means that would be like an XL. And, um, but there's some pieces, if it's the wearable art stuff that sells. And I sold a really cool looking like Paris kind of t-shirt, like the three quarter, I think, leaf link t-shirt. Actually, if it would have been my size, I probably would have kept it. It was cool, but that's all. Okay. Then... I had um, an Elaine Fisher dress sell, and this one was listed for a while. It was a midi, you know, length, and it was long-sleeved, and um, it was just like a ram blend, though. And that sold for right around between $35 and $40, and I went down on the price because it's just been sitting. Elaine Fisher, I find, does not very, move very fast, at least not the stuff I list. However, I don't price it super cheap, but lately I've been pricing it for, you know, lower because it just seems like it sits a lot, although it's a great brand and some pieces can be worth quite a little bit of money if it's made out of silk or wool or things like that. Um, this was a Lane Fisher Carnegie. I did have that sell and this was an open front. Now this is Merino wool and it was an extra large and that sold between 35 and $40. And let's see. Oh, this was really great. I don't know if I had this on one of the thrift haul videos or not, but it was called an or it was on the label. It was a like a white label and with red lettering, and it might have been in cursive. I can't. No, I think it was it was printed out, but it was just said organic, and then I think right underneath that it said John Patrick. It was a Carnegie, and this was um, it was a woman's, and but this was a cashmere blend. It was like a boyfriend type Carnegie size small, and that sold for right around eighty dollars, somewhere right around there. It was a really great find. I don't know if I've ever come across that brand before, but I was searching, and I think I looked it up when I was at the store. Either there, I took a chance on it, and then when I looked it up. I was like, "Whoa, that's always fun." Um, then I had segments. I have mentioned this brand before. I think I've showed it in the thrift haul videos. It's segments. And then underneath it, it'll, it'll say usually like, I think it might say pure wool or something, but they're 100% merino wool. They look like a long sleeve t-shirt. A lot of times they can be v-neck, but not always, I don't think. And sometimes they're solid, sometimes they're printed. They sell. And um, <clears throat> that sold for right around, it looks like it must have been between $25 and $30, maybe around $27, because that was an XL. That's a great brand to look for. And then I had a Ralph Lauren black label. And if you're not familiar, if you're newer to thrifting, you'll see a lot of Ralph Lauren. This is not Lauren Ralph Lauren, but just Ralph Lauren on the tag. And a lot of them will be just like a blue label. That's just the regular, you know, label. Then a step up from that is black label. Then the highest, I think, that I know, you know, mostly for the highest is purple label but this was a black label and it was a sleeveless carnigan and it was more of a tunic and it was a wool cashmere and it was a large and that sold for right around between i think around 45 or 50 right around there and i maybe could held out for more but it was sleeveless i think i already sold that one once and it got returned they said like how it fit i can't remember the reason how come they returned it you know, I think maybe they might have said there was a smell or something. And I got it returned and I didn't detect a smell on it. And believe me, I have an extremely keen sense of smell. But anyhow, I did check it out. I don't know if that was the reason. But anyhow, it sold again. But that's just to kind of highlight a few of the sales. And hopefully you've enjoyed this. If you great in the comments where, whether you like um, more when I show the computer and show the things that sold. And then you can see the tags. Or if you don't mind this way of just talking about some of the sales and some of the brands, I would appreciate it. If you'd like to subscribe, I have a bunch of other things up. And I've been doing kind of like a series where um, what will be listed today. And I pick out like 15 items and that's what I plan on listing um, for that day. Sometimes I have to exclude a couple out if I find a stain later on or a hole or there's a reason, you know, like that. Or maybe it was just a dud. But... Anyhow, if you'd like to check it out, and I have other eBay and Poshmark tips. 
And if you could push the thumbs up button, I would greatly appreciate that too if you got valuable content out of this. Many prosperous sales to you. Thank you.